This is what my back porch looked like a few years back and now fast forward a few years later and there still wasn't much of a difference. All I had done was remove the bottom lattice and existing screen, so here it is, the official before. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am super excited to have started yet another huge project here in my home. And uh, the best part of it all is I get to share it with you. This is gonna be a longer process because it's a very big space. So I'm gonna spread it out over several videos and kind of give you step-by-step -step of how I'm going to be making over this space. But um, I know some of you guys are probably wondering where is your final kitchen reveal video? And that video is going to be coming very, very soon. So stay on the lookout for that and stay tuned. So I've got a lot of work ahead of me. So let's go ahead and get started. Every year around this time, we have so many leaves to pick up because we have so many trees surrounding the house, so that was the first task to make over. I moved on to removing all of the nails left behind from the old trim that was holding up the old screen. This porch at one point in time was screened in, but that was way before we even purchased the home. At midnight, such a wonderful delight For gold, give up everything that I Before I could even think about painting any of the wood, I had to power wash all of it. Such a wonderful delight For gold Give up everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to Good morning, guys. It is about 9 o'clock right now And it's been, like I mentioned, a few days since I last saw you guys and since I last uh, power washed all of the wood. Um, we did end up getting a winter storm here through Texas. Uh, the temperatures dropped to like the 20s, uh, but that didn't last very long. It lasted maybe a day or two. Um, temperatures are back up. Today we're supposed to have 
um, a high of 62, 60, 61. The sun is nice and bright and out. So I'm really excited that I'm able to finally get to painting. To paint, I am using Beyond Paint. Now their paint is a water-based, low VOC and easy to apply paint. The great thing about Beyond Paint is that it requires no stripping, no sanding, and no priming, making a big job just like this one so much more efficient and quick and easy. It is an all-in-one paint, meaning it is a bonder, primer, and finisher in one and cures to a super durable finish. Although you don't need a top coat, they do provide a sealer for those projects that you believe may need the extra protection and durability. I applied the sealer the same way I applied the paint using a roller. I am using the color bright white, but they do have a beautiful selection of colors to choose from. Although the paint consistency might be thicker than you're used to, don't worry, you can definitely thin it out and spray it if you prefer to. I will have a link in the description for you to check out Beyond Paint. Such a wonderful delight Forgo Give up everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be with you somehow Unexpected love was found You're the rose in a garden Shows if I'm honest, you're the leaves in mid August, and I've come out here to say. Once I was done painting the back porch, I moved on to drawing out and building my own doors. I will have a separate video on how I created these doors. I wanted you to get the full effect of the before and after, so I placed the doors there, but they will be installed as sliding barn doors later on. For now though, let's see what this sad back porch used to look like. And thanks to the power of Beyond Paint, what it looks like now. I feel like this back porch already looks completely different from what we started with with just some paint and some doors so already you can start to kind of feel the look that I am going for just super clean and more modern than what it was and I feel like that's exactly what I achieved with this uh, first step to this makeover but there's still so much more to be done before this space is completely made over so be sure that you are subscribed to the channel again thank you so much for all of you guys who have tuned in and continue to support my channel and and all of my projects. I really do appreciate all of you joining me on this journey of turning my house into a home through furniture flipping. So if you haven't already and you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos just like this and many others. I will have a link down in the description for all of the other projects that I've done so far and hopefully you guys will enjoy those as well. You guys be kind and I'll see y'all next week. Bye!